Welcome back to Adoration Yoga and our final class in our Greatest Story series. So, so far we've walked through together the first three major plot points of the Bible, creation, the fall, and redemption through Jesus. In today's class, we're going to move and breathe and discuss and meditate through the final plot point of God's grand narrative, which is the restoration and renewal of the world. I hope you enjoy. Let's dive in. begin our practice today lying down on our mat. Go ahead and make your way down. Find yourself in a comfortable position as you relax head, shoulders, and hips into the earth. And then we'll find a full body stretch. So reach the arms up and overhead. Stretch through the arms towards the top of your mat and feet down towards the bottom of the mat. Take up a lot of space. Wiggle fingers, wiggle toes. And then bring the knees into the chest. Grab on to the shins or the front of the knees. And find some gentle movement as you begin to massage the low back. Good, now let's flow these two postures together. Inhale, full body stretch. Arms and legs reach to either side. And exhale, knees to chest, give yourself a hug. Inhale, open up, stretch, get as long as you can. And exhale, bring it back in. Knees and thighs working their way towards your chest. Good, one more time with your breath. Inhale, reach. Exhale, knees to chest. Good, drop the arms down to either side to a T. We're going to find a spinal twist. So drop the knees gently over towards the right. Keep both of your shoulders anchored on the mat. And if it feels comfortable, you can begin to shift your gaze towards those left fingertips. Begin to slow and steady your breathing. And then we'll bring those knees up and over to the opposite side. So knees come towards the left side. And if it feels comfortable, gaze begins to shift towards those right fingertips. As we enjoy the spinal twist on the opposite side. You're going to soften the muscles in your face. Relax the shoulders. One more breath here in your spinal twist. Good, and bring those knees back up to center, and then we'll find a lying butterfly. So bring the feet to the mat, and then bottoms of the feet together, knees work out wide. And then I invite you to take one hand to the belly and opposite hand to the heart. Close your eyes if that feels comfortable for you. Begin to allow your muscles and your body to relax, to let go. Breathing a little bit deeper in through the nose and out the nose. Relax and breathe and pray with me as we open up our practice together. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for this day, for this moment. We praise you for who you are, the author of creation, our Heavenly Father, our good friend, our faithful and loving Savior. 
God, I just pray that you meet each one of us here on our mats as we move and breathe together, God. Speak to us through your scriptures. Help us hear what we need to hear today. Draw us deeper into a loving and close relationship with you. And remind us of the hope that we have to look forward to at the close in the end chapter of your wonderful and amazing great story. Jesus, we love you. It's in your mighty name that we pray. Amen. A few more moments here as we open up the hips, lengthening the inner thigh. When you're ready, close the knees like a book, bringing them together. Keep the head, shoulders, and hips grounded in to the mat. Bring the arms down by the side, palms facing down. We're going to find some core activation together. So knees pointing up, feet are on the earth. Take a big inhale. And then as you exhale, bring the right toes off the mat. Bring the right knee a little bit closer towards you. Good. Inhale, release. Exhale. Left toes lift and bring the left knee in. And inhale, release. Exhale, right knee comes in and down with the inhale. Next, exhale, left knee. Good. Keep going. Inhale to lower. Exhale to draw the toes off the mat, bringing the knee in. Trying to find activation and strengthening of our lower abdomen. Keep going one knee at a time. Or if this is feeling good and you're feeling strong in your lower abs, if you're wanting a little bit more, work on doing both toes and knees at the same time. Exhale to bring them towards you, drawing in the low abs, belly button towards spine. And inhale, lowering back down to the mat. Try to keep the hips and the low back rounded into the mat as you do so. Get three more times wherever you're at. Release the toes back down to the earth. Roll over to one side and then press yourself up to a tabletop position. Fingers spread wide, shoulders stacked over wrists. And then we're going to bring the knees a little bit wider than hip width distance apart. Toes working their way towards each other. We're going to find a little flow from cow to child's pose. So on your next inhale, begin to drop the ribs and the chest down towards the mat. Open up the heart and the neck towards the front of the mat for cow. And as you exhale, round through the spine, tuck the chin, and then sink the hips back towards the heels as you sink back into a child's pose. Go to your next inhale, lift and press it back forward, opening up for cow, pushing up and out of the shoulders, and exhale, rounding through, Letting everything fall back down to the mat for child's pose. Go two more times. Inhale, cow. Exhale, child's pose. Last time with your breath. Okay, we'll meet back into a tabletop. So this time align hips over knees, tops of the feet relax on the mat, fingers spread really wide here, and we'll lift the right arm up towards the sky, so stay grounded in the left as the right arm reaches up, wiggle the fingers, roll out the wrist, and we're going to find a little bit of movement before we move in to thread the needle, so inhale, open up, twist a little bit more, reaching the fingers up. And then exhale, round, bring the arm halfway back down just below your torso. 
Good. Inhale. Twist. Arm, right arm reaches up. Exhale. Round through with a cat back arm coming halfway through. One more time. Inhale. Reach up. Twist. Then exhale. Bring it to thread the needle. Right arm threading under the hole of the left. Shoulder and ear relaxing down towards the mat. Breathe as we twist out our thoracic spine, that midsection of the back that often causes us a lot of back pain and discomfort. Two more deep breaths. Breathing in the nose, sending the breath deep down into the torso, into the belly, expanding the ribs. With the left hand, press it back up. Reach that right arm up one more time. Then exhale back to your tabletop. We'll do that on the other side. Ground down through the right hand. This time, left arm reaches up towards the side. Torso twisting towards the left side of the mat. Wiggle the fingers. Circle out the wrist. And then we'll find our movement. Inhale to reach up. Twist a little more. Exhale to drop the arm round through the spine, coming halfway through. Inhale, reach and twist. Exhale, around, and arm coming halfway through. Good. One more time with your breath. Good. Inhale, reach it up. And then on your next exhale, go ahead, thread the needle left, arm making the way under the right, left ear and shoulder relaxing down. So we twist it out on the opposite side. As we rest here, try to find areas to release to let go of gripping, to let go of tension, to invite ease and relaxation. Another deep breath all together. And then right hand helps you press back up. Left arm reaches up one more time. And then breathe out, let that arm come down. And then we'll make our way to a simple seat. Ground down in both hips. Relax the knees and the hips down towards the mat. As your torso and upper body is standing strong, rising up. Trying to center your ears over your shoulders, your shoulders over your hips. Bow the chin down towards the chest. Continuing to breathe deep as you feel the sensation along the back of your neck. And begin to gently roll the neck side to side, bringing one ear towards the shoulder and then opposite side. The next time the right ear is over the right shoulder, hold there. Loop the left shoulder up and back. Relax the space between your eyebrows. Unclench the jaw if it is clenched. And if you want a little bit more, extend the left fingertips long on the mat, reaching the fingertips down. Notice how that changes the sensation of the stretch. Good, if fingertips are reaching, go ahead and bring them back in. Roll the chin and the head down and over opposite side, left ear to left shoulder. Loop the right 
Shoulder up and back. And if it feels good, extend the right arm and right fingertips long towards the mat. Intensifying and lengthening the stretch. Two more deep breaths. Gently pull the arm back in. Roll the head down. And lift the head back up tall and strong. If it feels good, find some movement in the shoulders. Bringing them up towards the ears and then sliding them down and back. Switch out the direction of your circles. And when you're ready, find space between the ears and the shoulders. Lift the chin slightly. And then relax the hands down on the lap wherever feels comfortable. As we move into our first time of scripture and devotion in our practice. If it feels right for you, you can close your eyes just to help you center and focus on the scripture and, and God's word. So God doesn't end his great story with Jesus dying on the cross. In Hebrews 9.28, it says, So Christ, having been offered once to bear the sins of many, will appear a second time. Not to deal with sin, but to save those who are eagerly waiting for him. God has promised that Jesus will return to renew our world, judge sin, and destroy all evil. There will be a new heaven and a new earth where we will live forever in Christ's presence as he originally planned in the garden. We read in Revelations 21.4 that he will wipe away every tear from their eyes and there will be no more death or sorrow or crying or pain. All these things are gone forever. Friends, this is the grand finale to God's story. The new heaven, the new earth. No pain, no sorrow, living and worshiping Jesus, being in his presence, seeing him face to face forever. Let's keep moving as we reflect on this glorious future that awaits us if we have put our trust and our hope in Jesus. Maybe bring a smile to your face. That feels right. And then flutter the eyes open. Uncross the legs. We're going to come to standing on our knees. If you need to, use a blanket here or roll up your mat just to provide a little bit more cushion if your knees need it. But stack knees, sorry, hips over knees, shoulders over hips, and we're going to find a camel pose. So bring the hands to the low back, fingers pointing down as if you're sliding them into the back pocket of your jeans. Relax the shoulders away from the ears. And then as you begin to press the hands into the low back, begin to arch the spine down, up and back. Pushing the chest forward, making sure not to drop the neck and the head, but to find this active arching. Trying to keep the hips over the knees as you open up the chest, feel the expansion across the shoulders and the pectoral muscles. Hold the pose and notch your breath for your camel pose. Good, slow and controlled. Roll the neck and the spine back up. Bring the hands to the hips. And then we're going to find a gate pose. So extend the left leg along on the mat out to your side. Pressing the blade edge of the foot into the mat, 
toes pointing forward. And then left hand's gonna drop on the left thigh. Right arm reaches up on your next inhale. And then begin to hinge on over at the hips as you feel the expansion and the stretch along the right side body. Create some space between the right shoulder and the right ear. Stay active in the neck. Don't let it just hang. Try to send the breath into the right ribs, into that right side body to get every ounce and every benefit of this side body stretch. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, bring it back up, stacking shoulders over hips, arms reaching out to side to side like warrior arms. And then right hand comes to the mat as left arm reaches up and over for a side body stretch on the left side. You're always welcome to stay on the right fingertips or maybe even use a block or a book to help bring the mat up to you. Again, creating space between the shoulder and the ears, staying active in the neck, making sure to still press through the knife edge of the left foot. And then the lifted arm, you're gonna swing it down towards the mat Walk the hands to out in front of you. Ground down through all 10 fingers. Press the mat away as you begin to shift the hips back as we find this down dog variation of gate pose. So your upper body's in down dog as that left leg extends out, stretching out the left inner thigh and the ankle. Two more breaths here. Then walk the hands back in. Hands on the hips. Left leg comes back in, stacking the sh hips over the knee. And we'll find one more camel pose. So hands to the low back, fingers pointing down, elbows working towards each other. Inhale, lengthen up through the crown of the head. And exhale, open it up, arch back. Pressing the chest and the heart and the hips forward. For camel pose. Two more breaths. You got it. Then gently roll it back up. Hands come to the hips out to the side. This time, right leg extends on the mat. Press the edge of the foot into the mat firmly. Toes pointing forward. Right hand relaxes on the thigh as left arm reaches up and then hinges on over for our side body stretch in our gate pose. Gaze can be forward. If it's comfortable for your neck, maybe you begin to look up on the inner part of the bicep. Staying active through the neck and the fingertips. Sending the breath into the left side of your body. Take one more deep breath. And then your next inhale, bring it back up. Warrior two arms side to side. And then left hand and fingertips makes it way down to the mat as right arm this time comes up and over, stretching it out on the opposite side. Breathe, again, keeping relaxed in the muscles of the face and the mouth. Pressing that right foot into the mat as the right fingertips are reaching to the opposite side. Inhale. And exhale, right arm windmills down. Walk the hands to 
in front of you, reaching the fingertips forward, pressing the mat away as you shift the hips back for our down dog variation of gate pose. Try to stay grounded in that right foot as we stretch out the right inner thigh. Lift up and out of the shoulders. Hopefully this is, feels like a great release in the low back and the hip as well. And walk those hands back towards you. Bring the right knee back in. And then we're going to step it up, so bring both feet to the mat making your way to a forward fold. And then from there, slowly roll the spine all the way up to standing for a mountain pose. Grounding down in all four corners of the feet, standing tall and strong, crown of the head reaching up. Loop the shoulders up and back. Arms down by the side, palms facing forward. Lift your chin just a little to lengthen the neck. Close your eyes again. Breathe deep. So we all experience hardship and sorrow in this broken world as a result of our own and other sin. But in John 14, verses 1 through 3, Jesus says, Don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust also in me. There is more than enough room in my Father's home. If this were not so, would I have told you that I'm going to prepare a place for you? When everything is ready, I will come and get you, so that you will always be with me where I am. Because we know Jesus will return, we can live with joy and hope even when things around us feel joyless and hopeless. So I invite you into a breath prayer, sinking this idea of hope in Jesus. So on your inhale, just quietly to yourself, say, my hope. Your exhale is in Jesus. Inhale, my hope. Exhale, is in Jesus. My hope is in Jesus. I pray this is true for your heart today, friend. All right, flutter the eyes open. Let's throw, flow through a sun salutation together. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hinge at the hips, rain it down, forward fold. Generous bend in the knees as head and upper body hang heavy. Inhale, halfway lift, crown of the head reaching forward, tail reaching down, engaging the core by bringing that belly button in and up towards the spine. Good. Full breath cycle here. Good. Breathe in. Exhale, hands to mat. Feet come back, drop the knees down for a half plank, and then exhale, lower to the belly, tops the feet to the mat, hands under the shoulders, inhale, cobra, head and shoulders, lift and chest lift up and off the mat, exhale, release, press it back up to your half plank. Curl the toes, and then send the hips up and back as you straighten through the arms and the legs for a downward facing dog. Find some movement in your down dog, pedal out the feet, lift and lower the heels. Good. 
and find a moment of stillness in your down dog. Pressing the fingers into the mat, lifting up and out of the shoulders, extending through the neck as the hips make their way up and back. Two more breath cycles. Good. Shift it forward. Back down to your half plank. And then we're going to lower all the way down to our bellies. Rotate the legs and the thighs in towards each other just a little. Tops of the feet and all ten toes press into the mat. And then we're going to bring the forearms to the mat. So align elbows underneath shoulders. All ten fingers pressing into the mat as we prep for a sphinx pose. Stay long through the crown of the head. And then inhale, press the forearms into the earth. Lift the head and the chest. Lift up and out of your shoulders. Feel the expansion. Do you strengthen the muscles in your back? Counteract all the hunching that we do on a day-to-day basis. Deep inhale, feel the belly press into the mat. And exhale, slowly release back down. Bring the right cheek to the mat. And then we're going to bring the left knee out to a 90 degree angle. So we're still lying on our bellies. Left knee is bent, right cheek to the mat. We're going to work into a pose called Wheel of Life, which is a wonderful spinal twist, ringing of the spinal column. So we're going to take the right shoulder and arm and nestle it under our torso. So left knee bent, right arm reaching, and the left arm's going to come up and over as you begin to open up the chest and the heart towards the ceiling. As you begin to settle in, maybe you work the right shoulder and fingertips a little further into the twist so that way you can twist a little deeper in that lifted arm. You're always welcome to bend the left elbow and bring it and rest it on the hip if that feels better. Try to surrender and relax into this posture. just as we are welcomed to surrender and press into Christ in our hardships. Breathe in and breathe out, slowly come out. Rolling the left arm back down, coming back down onto the chest. Straighten out the left leg, bringing it back down to the mat. Then we're going to switch it out. So bring the left cheek to the mat, bend the right knee out to a 90 degree angle. Left arm and shoulder are going to come underneath the torso. And then right arm's going to come up and over as you open up the chest. Finding this twist, this wheel of life posture on the opposite side. Again, invite calmness, invite relaxation, invite surrender. As you settle in, if it feels right for you, work those left fingertips a little further into the twist so that they way the right arm and chest can twist open a little more.
Inhale. And exhale, release. Right arm coming back down. Release that left arm. Unbend the right knee. And we're going to press the hands into the mat coming back up. And I'm going to work my way into a child's pose as we end our practice. If there is another more worshipful and surrendering posture that you would prefer, feel free to take that. Otherwise, you can meet me in child's pose with knees bent on the mat. Hips sinking back towards the heels, forehead, forehead down towards the earth. And in this pose, I am going to extend the arms with palms facing up. Find whatever is right for you to finish this practice out. Wherever you're at, close your eyes. Breathe deep. In the nose. And out the nose. Softening the face. Letting the lips slightly part so your tongue can relax. Letting the heaviness of your heart, the worries, the anxieties release with each exhale. And with each inhale, inviting Jesus in deeper into your heart deeper into your life, inviting his hope and his joy. Continue to breathe and relax as I read a couple of verses over us to finish out our practice. First, it's Revelation 22. 12 and 13. Jesus says, Look, I am coming soon, bringing my reward with me to repay all people according to their deeds. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. In the last verse, Revelation twenty two twenty, He who testifies to these things says, Yes, I am coming soon. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. Amen. Come, Lord Jesus. We anxiously await your return and the renewal of the world, of our hearts, and our bodies, and our minds, where everything will be right and perfect, even so much better and so much more beautiful than what even you had in the Garden of Eden. No pain, no sorrow, and in your presence forever. Friends, thank you so much for joining me in this practice and through the Greatest Story series. I just pray that this drew you deeper into love and adoration of Christ and then helped you have a grander perspective of God's story through the scripture. Thank thank you so much for just being here and being on the mat. I pray that you have a blessed and wonderful day and find joy and hope that Jesus offers you. Until next time, bye for now.